Welcome back, my monarchs. We got a nice little continuation of me climbing through ranked. Surprisingly, this was just a deck I was testing out with. Oh, eat a shifter and a maxi, you know. <laughs> just let me hand loop myself for two and see if you can play through that. There we got the lucky uh, Machina Fortress on there. I was like, oh, okay, let me not let them do anything else. I got to draw off this Therion. And that's fine. At least I just handled myself for one. And they thought they were sitting pretty with this board. Uh, Kaiju. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fenrir. <laughs> into Unicorn. Uh, Rise Heart. Rise Heart. Uh, Banish Ogre. And then I tribute the last for the Unicorn. And I think my opponent just gets pissed off, but I literally, it, it was over. I was about to just attack and banish and probably banish that continuous. Yeah, it was, it was not going to look good for my opponents. Um, so let's go right into game two. Again, not too much to talk about the deck if you guys saw the last episode. Um, just continually play testing through it. The balance seems pretty good between the Monarch Engine and the Kashtira Monsters. Um, with the addition of like match disease fiend and I have been thinking about um, you might see it in here or eventually at the end the uh, the Cleefort card I forgot what it was called um, it's, a, it's like the level 7 Cleefort that has like the monarch stats and it could just normal summon itself as a level 4 uh, if you're not able to tribute it so it's pretty decent although there's a Nambo with cash of birth wh where it just won't allow itself to uh, to be normal summoned without tributing and still be level 7 and have 2800 attack, which is tough. <laughs> a little bit of a number, so I don't know if that'll work in, the, in this deck or not. I was just looking for another line to uh, to keep tenacity and the rest of the engine relevant. Right, because if I start taking away at that engine, I'm just going to put more cash tier stuff. And it kind of just becomes a cash tier <laughs> deck with just like 3 storm forth and then like 3, what do you call it, Majesty Sphinx. Anyway, D shifter into evenly. Get that shit on my fucking face. Uh, also, Kaiju, your board. Also, I have Fenrir. <laughs> also, I have Domain of the True Monarchs. Also, Stormforth to tribute over your last guy. And uh, <laughs> your, your extra deck lock, buddy. I don't know what you're going to do, uh, but you can't play the game. Uh <laughs> I don't even know what was in my banished. Uh, they, they they didn't either. They just got fucking mad, and I don't blame them. L Smosh fan twenty five got fucking smashed and sent back to the old Smosh viral days when they did Mortal Kombat uh, parody covers. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. Mess around with my mic here. <clears throat> Uh, they pass right back to me. I'm like, oh, sucks to be my opponent. Also, they're probably been kind of or something. I don't fucking know. Because uh, I probably made them go first. And also, look at the three evenlies. Very nice to see. <laughs> at least I'm able to draw two again. I'm like, okay. I get pitched one of the evenlies. I forgot about hand size. I probably could have set one of them. Uh, but no, I was sorely mistaken. This is <laughs> alert, alert. This is not Mikanko, uh, Numeron, or whatever type of cheese. Uh, this is straight up fucking pearly. Um, yeah, I made a, a miscalculation. Uh, they should have killed me, honestly. Like I was talking to my friend, you know, Andrea, about this, showing this to him. I think he was here live in the in the Discord call. Like, your opponent's a fucking idiot. Like, I <laughs> there's no earth where, like, I should have lived. They should have just OTK'd me to oblivion, I think. Um, I guess it depends on, like, the, the memories, right? I forgot which one is the one where they attack a bunch of times, they get a bunch, and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. Anyway, evenly. A uh, <laughs> nice board kid. And they're like, oh, well, Alice is only evenly, right? So I'm just going to keep setting up, you know, surely... And I saw them discard one, right? So the chances of them having evenly in their hand are pretty slim. And while they're correct in that assumption, it is pretty slim. Uh, I do happen to, to defy reality. Also, they, uh, he was my buddy on the video was saying that, that they could have drew more, I think, if they switched to Nor. Oh, wait, I think they did. And they keep drawing. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> anyway, evenly. Um, also, I have a kaiju for you. Um, also, I have uh, Monarch, <laughs> so I'm going to grab myself a Tenacity, because guess what? Dogman's a Monarch, technically. We'll see. He might make a return. I think I took him out, but for like the Cleefort um, 
thing because it also synergizes with domain, but who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll keep the door open for Dogman, the doggy door to come back over. Yeah, they distributed and <laughs> their extra deck locked. And they're like, no, thank you. Adios. Um, so on to game four. We're going through these pretty quickly. These are actually some pretty fast gameplays. Um, so I, I think we will have some time to do some bonus footage and fuck around and show you guys some stuff in the event. I pretty much use the same deck except like the, the Kastira extra deck version. So no extra deck locking because it was banned, unfortunately. Uh, they banned Domain of the True Monarchs. I'm like, oh, what the fuck kind of game is this? Anyway, they uh, call by, or what is it, Ash? Yeah, my shit. And of course, it's Sprite. And of course, they're going first. This time, however, I, I probably made them go first. I, this is a dedicated going second deck anyway. Um, although, it's, I, it does make me think, if I went first, then I just Fendered or Unicorn and then, like, tribute over for Majesties, like, what would they have done without activating effects? I guess they could have, what do you call that? Started and then brought out the a two and then I don't know because they can't gigantic because it will only be a sixty yeah I don't know um, anyway um, I I I miscalculated this part I didn't realize obviously I knew it was a link two but I didn't see those also pointing the sprite so when that they would bring something back with sprite they'd be able to negate and put this to zero that was a misplay on my part I should just after the Storm forth to tribute over the elf. I was gonna do that anyway, or actually, I was gonna do the gigantic, but it, I guess it didn't matter too too much. Um, I mean, you'll see here. I mean, they're again. My opponent's under Majesties. What are they gonna do? Oh, you're still under Majesties, so it's 23. Oh, okay. So this is Tri Brigade Sprite. Okay, Shurig. Yep. Okay, haven't seen Shurig in a while. So Shurig beat over Majesties. Now you could activate effects. Now they're going to uh, pop this. I'm like, okay. And then my opponent is also pretty bad. I was debating on whether or not to keep this game in here. Because uh, my opponent is fucking... But because um, they just banished their own access code. Because they're just clicking yes to their own buttons. I'm like, okay, I think I have a chance now. Uh, access code was only at 23, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world. But they also my opponent could have sequenced that differently. So they could have had a, a stronger access code. Anyway, I ogre for bait. I figure that they're going to try to banish this shit right away. I get to check to see what's in their deck. I probably just... I either take out the Fenrir or something else. I just don't want them to have nothing. They have Imperm. Okay. That's fine. Do this old-fashioned way. Just beat over a 2300. Totally cool. Pass this on. I'm sure they're going to do a monster effect before they attack me. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I'm like so, so certain that they're going to do a monster effect. And they go to Ancient Warriors. And they choose to bounce my Fenrir, which means I won't be banished from the Shurig. So, they pitch Harpies. They bounce my Fenrir. I banish a Shurig. Okay, you're not gonna... There's no Earth where you kill me with shit. They go to... I, I'm like, what are you... You're just clicking buttons. The, I, I, this is like Diamond 3, right? This is not like the worst of the worst. You gotta climb up here. So, I'm like, how the fuck did you get up here? <laughs> I could have even lead, but I was like, nah, I kind of want I want to do the Fenrir kind of route. I probably should have just even lead. Kind of would have done the same thing. Now that I think about it, but it is what it is. Boo! Yep, Fenrir. Bring back Ogre. Ogre, grab prep. Preparations. My opponent is pretty screwed. They're lucky I don't have the field spell. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. If, if you saw what is... Yeah, I, I, my point, good. <laughs> Mill yourself out of this game because I don't know what you were doing either, buddy. Um, on to game five. Yeah, we'll probably just do maybe one bonus game. We'll see. I might have to make use of this pause feature since I'm not really used to using pause at all on, uh, on, uh, this streaming. What do you fucking call this? OBS bullshit. Anyway, Maxi, uh, plight of going second. Also, this is when I started putting Encham from Mufrite. Ah, en Encham Mufrite. Oh my god, I've never seen this before. I read it in my mind and it made sense. And as soon as I start talking, I have a fucking stroke reading this. Uh, <laughs> it could be Encham Mufrite, Encham Mufrite, Encham Mufrite. I don't know. Uh, Papa Frita. Okay, anyway. um, So, there's a Nambo here between this and uh, Stormforth. 
because I can't after I, I use the effect to draw it goes to the extra and then uh, if I special summon it I can't use Stormforth but then if I use Stormforth and I already drew off of it it's gonna stay in the extra so I grab this I'm like oh fuck I can't special summon this guy out after I <laughs> just kaiju them and I'm like oh I gotta still tribute over the kaiju so that was a big mistake on my part if I was just going to kaiju them with the uh, Kumungus. I should have just drew first and then not have used the Stormforth. I, I mean, I don't know. Because I, I didn't even do the full technical lock off of this shit, you know. So, I didn't extra deck lock my opponent. But I do hit him for 28. It's not bad. It was a tough one to banish. I think definitely this was the go-to since the Pearly was untargetable. Um, so, yeah, I start slowly ripping cards out of my opponent's deck. Preparations, bring out unicorn. So I'm gonna start looking at that extra deck, boy. They uh, did you activate a trap card? Did you activate a fucking trap card? Let me see that hand. Yoink. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, Fenrir. Also, unicorn. Also, ogre. Um, so let me so let me look at this shit. Mm, let me take out that memory. Uh, let me take that noir. Let me take out that pearly. I probably should have took out. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to take out. Because we saw in their hand they had a second field. So, it is what it is. I probably could have held on to the Fender effect, maybe. Since they're still going to be doing that stuff. But, And I probably should have banished this Plump. I think in the future. Shout out to Andrea. Andrea, he was telling me. Because he, he plays this deck. You know, they need the Plump, essentially, to get to the Noir. So, it's smarter to target this and get this out of the deck. If, if that is the case. Because they still have one Noir left, anyway. Boom. They hit me for the Revive. Boom. They made this indestructible, so it was very interesting because they didn't destroy the ogre. And if you guys remember, I tribute summoned. I tribute summoned with the ogre, <laughs> right? Um, so my opponent made a big, big no-no because I special summoned this from the deck. I kaiju their guy again. Now they are officially extra deck locked, and I can't use Monarch Stormforth because I special summoned from the extra. That's fine. I don't have anything in my hand anyway. Um, boom. Boom. Pass it back to you. Good luck, friend. What are you going to do? What are you going to fucking do? Nothing. Nothing. What can you do? You can my friend Pearly. Pay 500. For what? What are you going to special summon? You can't go to your extra deck, bucko. Uh, the, the Dark World card is spicy, though. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me just banish the, one of your last fucking memories in there. Uh, or maybe the, the Pearl Lily. I'm not sure. Oh, did you activate a trap card, my friend? Did you activate a... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was just almost punching down. But literally, that game is what got me to Diamond 2. I'm not even trying to do a fucking cash tier to, to Masters, guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a quick pause and just show you the rest of this game. So, be right back. Okay, also, peep this hand. Be right back. Okay, we are back. We're going against the Lunar Light OTK in the event. Uh, as you saw, I opened three Super Bollies. Yoink! Our Fusion Monsters. Our Dragostapelia. Uh, <laughs> should be pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward beat down. 27 straight to the dome. Uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting opening up uh, three... Super Poly is in the opening end. Uh, the three of chance is supposed to be like a one in a thousand. That clearly is not the case in Master Duel. Again, I swear. You, I'm, I'm a, anyway, uh, second second one. Let's go to Starving Venom <laughs> this time. I literally just did my, my Monarch Cashier deck, except I threw in Super Poly and Super Poly targets in there. Uh, called it a day. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I happened to go into Kumungus. So I'm like, nice, no, drawn to Kumungus. So now I'm able to normal it and just close out for game. Boom, attack for starving. They're a good sport. They stayed all the way through, probably for their gems. So, yeah, it was kind of a degenerative event. Everyone was trying to make everyone go first. I think Oaks DK with some type of dumbass, Luna Light, whatever bullshit. Uh, anyways, uh, stay royal, my fucking monarchs. I'm going to catch you around. Peace.